In this online tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can use Notebook LM to create simple ebook guides, how you can then use Notebook LM to actually create visuals for those guides and basically create a really effective digital product within seconds. And then how you can actually automate the entire process, including the sales page that offers common frustrations, solutions, all the benefits on the sales page, and how you can actually automate the entire design of this right here, niches that you're gonna to wanna to pick. So you can see we've got online stores, we've got drop shipping, subscription boxes, member websites. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick drop shipping here. So now what I will do is I will come over to YouTube and in the search bar, I'll put how to drop ship for beginners in 2024. And the main thing that you want to make sure that you put is 2024. And the reason we do that is because when we create our ebook and we create our digital product, we want it to have the most up to date information. So essentially you can see right here, this book, we can grab this link because it's 2024. It's four months ago. Then we will just basically click add. We're going to go to link. We're going to paste in the YouTube URL and then we're going to click add. Then we want to make sure as well is we want to make sure that this doesn't turn red. If this turns red, it means something's wrong with it. Then let's go down and see the other ones. Okay, we've got another one here. That one's 11 months ago, 2024. So we can grab that. We can also grab this one eight months ago, 2024. So now you can see I've basically gone through YouTube and I've added a bunch of different sources to Notebook LLM. You can see I've added a maximum of around five sources here because one source here and another source here. Basically, there's something wrong with these sources. So essentially what you want to do is you want to just remove them. You can see if you click this icon right here, it says source is empty. So click that. That, click remove source just delete then click that click remove just click delete so now what you want to do is you basically don't want to use this podcast area it's absolutely useless what you want to do is you want to basically develop an ebook out of this and i'm going to show you guys the first step and there are a few more steps after this that's really really cool then what you want to do is you actually want to make sure you copy this prompt word for word this prompt says write me a top 10 guide on the best beginner tips for starting shopify drop shipping in 2024 and only use the source as data. Then I'm gonna input this prompt and we're gonna wait a minute. So now you guys can see, I basically have the bulk of my data that I can now use to format into an ebook. It tells me to prioritize shipping efficiency, how to build a store, marketing and branding. And this is basically really cool information that I can now format and input to an ebook. So now what I wanna do is I basically wanna save this note. I'm gonna save this. So now I'm just gonna copy all of this, okay? I'm just gonna copy all of this information. Just click here and click copy. Then basically what you wanna do is you wanna come over to ChatGPT 4.0 with Canvas and you'll need this because this is the one that allows you to edit documents really well. Then you want to input this prompt from my community. You want to just delete this section and you basically want to just copy this. Remember how we went on Notebook LM, just copy this, then come over to here and just paste this in right here. Then just click enter. Then you can see it's about to open up the canvas and then you can see our product is being created. And all of this is completely automated. You can see all of this is just completely done. So now what you can see right here is we can just click this copy button right here. Now you wanna head on over to Napkin AI. This is where you can get visuals from your text and it turns your text into visuals. So sharing your ideas is quick and effective. Then we sign in. Then basically we just wanna click new napkin and make sure it's blank. And then this is where the magic happens. So we wanna paste this in. And then you can see right here, once we pasted this in, we just wanna make sure that we can use Napkin to generate the visuals for our stuff. So we just wanna space this out, just use the enter button and just space things out a little bit because sometimes the formatting doesn't get it right. So just space this out so that everything looks really nice and you're about to see some real magic happen in just a moment. So once you've managed to space everything out, as you guys can see right here, this is where we want to generate certain visuals. So for example, right here, this is of course the table of contents. So we don't need to do anything for that. But what we can do right here, choosing the right niche, we can click generate visuals and it's going to analyze the text. Then it's going to generate a visual. So you can see right here that it is able to just add stuff and it's able to, of course, add the right things that make your product a lot more entertaining. So you can see right here, you can just leave that. So that's basically a niche selection for dropshipping. You can come down to here and essentially what you can do is you can once again do that for other areas. So now that that's done, just click enter and that'll be done. Then for shipping efficiency, of course you, or in fact for bundles, let's actually do that. Let's click that. And then let's see how this works. So then of course you can see this looks really nice. And then I'll just click there. It's really done. Okay. So you can see right there that I've got now this graphic right underneath this. And you basically just want to go through the document and you can do this for every single thing. If you want to, you don't have to do it for every single thing. It just depends on how extensive you want your thing to be. So for example, right here, you can vary the different styles. You can have different colors. So for example, if you go to here, you can have blue, you can have this, whatever. You can do it whichever way you want to do it and then just click it in the middle and then it'll be done. And then basically you just want to keep doing this for the entire product and we'll just go down and do it for certain things. For example, for TikTok, there's not really stuff about TikTok. For optimizing product pages or product research tools, we can add another one here. And you basically just wanna make a diverse ebook. And this is how you make this ebook really well. So you can see right here, enhancing Shopify success with product research tools. And you can see, I'm just gonna click this. And then now I've got that product there. So now you can see I've got all of this data. I've got everything here that looks really nice. And basically now that we've done this, all we want to do is we basically want to ensure that this document is done. 
So make sure you go down to the bottom and make sure that you ensure that everything is spaced out, ensure everything looks nice. So you can see right here that this document is now finished. So I've got the table of contents right here. Then you scroll down, you can see the criteria for wild products. You can see uh, which sales, uh, you know, uh, bundles and subscriptions. You can see bundles, subscriptions. You can see enhancing success. Then of course you can see enhancing product page credibility. Then of course you can see how to scale marketing efforts. This literally took me two minutes to create this product. Now, of course, remember, this is what we're gonna be selling. So all we need to do now is we need to just save this product. So of course, just click library on the napkin area, then just click download PDF, then just make sure it's a single continuous page and just click export. We're just gonna save this PDF. And then when you open up the PDF, this is exactly what you'll see. You'll see that this is the kind of thing that you'll get right here. So this looks really cool. And so now this is where you actually wanna head over to gumroad.com. You wanna click the top right, which is basically start selling. And then when you click start selling, it's basically going to give you a pop-up menu. And then once you've signed in, you can see it says start selling at the bottom. So basically you want to come to Gumroad and then you just want to click create your first product. So this is a brand new account. So I'm just showing you guys. So since this is a new product, you just want to make sure you hover over digital product. And then you just basically want to put Shopify dropshipping guide in here. And then of course you can see price for your product. What we're going to do is we're going to put this $9. Next, we're going to customize this. And of course you can see the text for this product. Then because you guys don't want to waste time doing the description. And of course you don't want to waste time putting the summary box. I've already got a prompt template. So you want to come over to the prompt templates area. So basically, once you're inside my community, you can then grab the Grum Mode sales page automation and then just copy this. Then what you want to do is basically just upload your PDF to a new chat. Then using the prompt that was in my community, you can see it generates a title, it generates a hook, it gives people the common frustrations with starting a Shopify dropshipping store. Then of course, it presents your product, including the name from the PDF, which is why I said to upload it. And because it has the PDF, it already is able to input the outlines or right there along with the right emojis. And because ChatGPT already has your memory, you're already able to get your name and of course, all your relevant experience and it's able to basically give you everything that you need. So now what you want to do is you basically just want to copy all of this. So then of course, what you want to do is just simply paste that in. You can see that it inputs all of the data that we need. You can see it manages to format it correctly because it's got the right prompt. You can see it's got all the nice emojis and you can see on the preview, it looks really cool. But of course, we're not done just yet. We also need to add. So basically you want to come down to the bottom line and then just copy this, then come over to summary and input it right there. And then now what we want to do is we just want to add the final areas, which is of course the cover. So you can see that we need to add a cover image, which is 1280 by 720. So I'm going to do that now with AI. Then you want to come over to my group and you want to click the cover art template. Then you just basically want to copy all of that data. Just click copy. Then in this same chat user interface, you want to input the prompt exactly. And then you'll get your prompt that you can use in a different image generation service. You don't want to use ChatGPT. ChatGPT image generation service sucks. So now because I use that prompt, I get a really nice prompt that is specific to selling products. So what I will do is I will then just go ahead and copy this. So then you want to come over to Ideogram, click the creations tab, then just click this one time, then click this drop down menu. Then what you need to do is you need to change this to 1200 and then you need to change this to 720, just like that. In fact, 720. And then I will click save. And then now we have the right image there. So now what I will do is I will then input that prompt that we just got from ChatGPT and I will click generate. And then we will wait until we get an image. And this is the image we will use for our cover image. Now you can see right here, it generates a really nice image and something that you can do depending on the kind of brand that you do have. Now, basically what you can do here based on the color scheme that you do have. So my brand, as you know, is purple. So what I can do is on ideogram, I can change this. So I could change it to a purple theme. So for example, you know that my brand is black and purple. I could put, you know, for example, let's do some purple here. Then I could add some black. Then I could add some gray. Then I could add some white. And then I could add maybe uh, an offshoot color. Maybe I could add some, some, some light blues in there. Um, and I think that would work. So when I do this now, it's going to stick to my color scheme. So whatever brand that you have, your online brand, this is going to really help with the sales because it's going to be congruent with whatever it is that you're selling. Now you can see it actually gives me something that looks more on brand with my brand and it uses the correct color scheme. So I'm going to go with one that I really like and then I am going to just pick that. So for me, I think the one that goes well with my brand is this one. So I'm just going to save this. So now, of course, we just need to scroll down and upload this image so that we can have an area that looks really nice. So let's just upload this image. And then, of course, you can see it manages to upload the image right here. And this is where we are. Now, of course, you can change this to a specific thumbnail. You can have a square image if you really do want. And now we can click publish and continue. And then this product is now for sale. So if I copy this link or if I just click the preview tab. So now that I've opened this link, you can see that my product is here. We've got the sale page. We've got all the common objections. We've got our product as the solution. We've got everything that is inside the product. We've got literally a chat GPT template that will literally solve everything for us. We've also got an added list of the benefits that people will actually want to buy the product. And then of course, you've got things about the author so that brings more trust and authenticity. And basically this just allows you to build digital products with 